Hi, a lot of people would like to use the swirls and glyphs in a particular type of font. Now there are many fonts that have these, the, probably the most well known is Samantha, but someone has asked about So Fonty. Now what you need to do is if you download a character map and just search character map UWP and download the character map. There's several sites that you can download it from and it's very easy. Mine sits in the bottom here and when you bring it up, you can't see the very top of my screen here I think, um, so I'll just try and bring it down. No, it's not going to go down. Um, it just says Switzerland character map. Um, at the moment that's the one that I've got up. It comes up in quite large letters as opposed to the one that's already in your machine and you can see them really easily. Now if I go up here, the, this particular font has got some really swirly ones and if I, um, in fact some of them I can't even see properly but you can see that they are rather large up on this side. Now if I go back up here it generally comes up with the last font I've been using, which is quite handy when you're um, heading into um, the ones you want. Now this is so fancy, and this is the one that was asked about. And as you can see, you've got some pretty letters in here. The thing is that these are the lowercase letters that follow, and then you've got these really pretty ones down here. So. I was in my design space and I wrote text. Now in the design space I need to change the font to so fancy, which hopefully I'll be able to do now that I've logged out and logged back into it. And this is the T. So I'm going to copy that just by clicking on that. Then I'm going to come up here and you can't see the top of my screen but I'm going to come down here and now I'm in design space and I'm going to change this to so fancy. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to double click on my text, I'm going to take it and delete that T and go control V and put in the new T. Now with a word like text you will need to bring them all together and if you want to do another one you just do the next one and you can see that because it's not a letter that it actually knows and we copied it in you've got a little square block but the word is still there. What you can do once you've done that is you can go to advanced um, ungroup to letters and providing they still remain as letters, you can, oops, we'll just bring it back down again, we can add these together and then we can um, weld or do what we like with them. Now, if we wanted to change the last T, again we could go back to the character map, which we'll still have that there. Now, we don't want a T like that, but we may have another T down here, and there is, there's one like this. Now let's change our last T to that. Again, we can go copy. We just put the character map down to minimise it. And for this one, we're going to double click on it, take out that T, and copy and paste our new T, and there's our new word with the glyphs in it. And I hope that's been helpful to you. Thank you for watching.